Welcome to Fireside Devotionals. Today's devotional is from Celebrating the Light of Christmas. The devotional is titled, Master Your Love Walk This Christmas. Christmas was created out of God's intense love for us. This time of year, we celebrate the greatest gift of love toward mankind of all time, the light of love, Jesus. We honor God and the sacrifice of Jesus by obeying his commandments. In John, 5, or in John 15, 12, Jesus summed up the commandments with one statement, Love one another as I have loved you. Yet many people may find this challenging during the holiday preparations or in the politically changed, charged atmosphere. As we experience this year, one thing we must remember at Christmas and every day is that showing love to others is not optional if we are to obey God. There is no free pass when we feel justified in treating someone with disrespect, anger, unforgiveness, or criticism. You can master your love walk by applying 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8 to your life during your day-to-day activities in this Christmas season in the following ways. Love endures long lines at the grocery store. It is patient with children, even under pressure. It is kind to spouses, no matter the situation. It is not envious of another's decorations or baking skills. It is not boastful about gifts, vacations, accomplishments, or anything else. It isn't rude in parking lots or towards difficult in-laws. Love does not insist on its own way when deciding what to buy or which events to attend. It takes no account of those who cut others off in traffic, take that last piece of fruitcake, or speak unkind words. Love bears all things during the holidays and every other time. It is ready to believe the best of every person at the Christmas party and every relative at the family gathering. It endures everything that may come with a pure heart and a godly attitude. Love never fails. There is nothing, absolutely nothing, that is more important than learning to love. In fact, how accurately you perfect the love walk will determine how much of the perfect will of God you accomplish in your life. Sounds like a tall order, doesn't it? But don't despair. You are love. You are a love creature. God has recreated your spirit in the image of love, and he has sent his love spirit to live in you and teach you how to love as he loves. Amen. And as always, God bless.